Now, Naivasha Member of Parliament Jane Kihara insists that President William Ruto is the bona fide owner of a 5,000 acre piece of land at Ndabibi area in Naivasha. Speaking at a public baraza, Kihara accused a section of leaders of being behind a syndicate of land grabbers targeting unsuspecting owners. Now, the defense comes one week after 19 people were arrested for taking down a concrete fence or rather wall uh, surrounding the land and destroying property worth 2.3 million shillings. Laura Otieno with the details of the escalating row over the ownership of the vast piece of land. The ownership of a 5,000 acre piece of land at Ndabibi area in Nakuru County has once again taken a new twist with Naivasha legislator Jen Kihara identifying President William Ruto as the owner of the vast piece of land. Of Kihara claiming that the president genuinely bought the land from former Moi era diplomat Benjamin Kulei. <laughs> Ya mtu hapa, raisi ya mechukua, aje hapa ni mpeleke kwa raisi. Jia muambie, mweshmua raisi, ulichukua shamba yangu. In a ruling issued by the High Court in Nakuru in August 2023, Kulei lost his claim to the land, with the court stating that he failed to provide the land sale agreement to support his claim. Kulei had indicated that he bought the land from various individuals in 2007 who were allotted the property by the Agricultural Development Corporation. Justice Lina Tomolo ruling that neither Kulei nor the said individuals presented sufficient evidence to prove ownership. Farmers laying claim to the land have since threatened to shut down schools in the area until they are issued with a title to the land. <laughs> Me, I want to dare wajaribu. Ate naona mtu kwa hiyo karuninga. Akisema kama ruto wako na shamba hapa. Anje ya meuma title didi na meno. Surely, you have no respect for the president. Unakuja kuchochea watu. Ati ndiyo wakasirike wa menyanganyu wa shamba. 19 people were arraigned at the Milimani law courts facing charges of malicious damage to property. The accused persons allegedly destroyed a concrete fence worth 2.3 million shillings on February 29th at Dabibi area as they tried to access the disputed piece of land. Laura Otieno, Citizen 